Hey guys, Wednesday, almost midnight, full moon, good time to get some stuff done, I think. So I'm uh, down here in the shop on my uh, doghouse project, I just wanted to show you where I've gotten to. I'm working on the floor panel right now, so this will kind of give you a pretty good idea of my construction method. Here's what I've gotten done so far, I've gotten the four sides. This is just the skin of the floor that's going to go on that panel with all the clamps on it. And there's the door. And this is a good way for me maybe to show you the floor plan of a, of a wall that goes right in here. Okay. <coughs> and that will uh, create like a windbreak so when the dog comes in, the dog can come in over on this side and have a nice cozy regular size dog house. This is regular dog's house size, about 32 by 36 and about 32 high. So that's good. And so this just gives like a little windbreak, a little foyer for the hound. So uh, yeah, uh, not entirely sure. I don't have uh, my four foot clamps are all rusted up so I was sad to say I could not clamp this thing the way I wanted to, but uh, I've got it screwed right now, not glued, just screwed, and I can see a little gap there, about a sixteenth inch gap there, so that's not good, it means that has to go over more, I'll figure that out tomorrow, I'm getting tired, yes, I got this since about 8.30 this morning, here it is, midnight. But, uh, you know, I, I wanted to get most of this done so I could get my shop space back. I had the whole shop to stuff full of materials. And so now I've got all those pretty much cut up. And uh, this is the foam that I'm going to be cutting. I've cut this to size. I have another big sheet of it over there. And I'll be cutting that up into strips here. And then this floor, is, this whole unit is going to sit on top of pressure treated 2x4 grid. I'll make like a little base and it will all sit on top of that. And that will be anchored in gravel. So this is basically just to get the insulated shell. And uh, I could have made it with pressure treated and all that, but pressure treated does not take glue very well. So I would have had to screw everything. And screws without glue just don't hold up. It just doesn't work. So if by gluing everything without screws, you know, I'm giving no place for any rust or intrusion or any kind of thing to come through. And I'm going to have a nice, uh, once I encapsulate this in polyurethane, I'm going to put three coats of polyurethane on everything. So it's quite the ordeal. And this isn't even going to be exposed. This will then have a siding over it. But the idea of the polyurethane is to completely encapsulate these insulated panels so that there's never any problem with them uh, weathering, even if there was some sort of leak through the siding I'm going to put on it. And then it's going to have a little peaked roof. It's going to have a removable cap top, and it's going to have a little peaked roof. And uh, so quite a bit more to go. But uh, I just wanted to show it to you. And, uh, so tomorrow i got panels to make. i got uh, shell prepper kits to send out, so i got to shift gears. As you can see, my shop is a total disaster, so I've got quite the job looking at me in the morning cleaning all this up, but uh, <laughs> it's enough for tonight, that's all I can say, it's just enough. I can only do so much in one night. Alright guys, I hope you have a wonderful full moon Wednesday, I hope you get out there and see it, party it up, have a good time, get things done, enjoy yourself.